All right, I'm Joe Dillschneider with the Madison River Fishing Company. It's a beautiful fall afternoon. We're here on the Upper Madison River and uh, thought we'd take off from work early today and do a little Euro nymphing. I've been getting into Euro nymphing here on the Madison. It's a great river for it. So we're going to do some today. So my Euro nymph rig, I like the, uh, the Sage ESN 10 and a half foot three weight rod. That's what I'm using. Got that paired up with the Spectrum LT 3.4 reel from Sage and the Rio Euro Nymph fly line. In addition to that, I'm also using the Euro, the uh, Rio Zero uh, X to Two X Euro Nymph leader with the uh, the built-in uh, cider tippet material and tippet ring. So let's set this up. I'm going to basically run from my from my tippet ring. I'm going to run 4x fluorocarbon for about two and a half feet. And then I'm going to do a double surgeon's knot with a couple feet, uh, two to three feet of 5x fluorocarbon. And I'm going to leave about a 10 inch tag in there in the middle. So I'm going to start out, I think, by fishing tungsten bead jig nymphs. Probably go with the size 12 copper john as the point fly. And the uh, 14 jig head pheasant tail as the, as the tag fly. I've been doing well with that rig lately, so we'll try that and see what happens. This little guy. Okay, so I'm using my Sage ESN 10 and a half foot three weight. Great Euro nymph rod. First one I've ever owned actually. Um, it's got the down locking reel seat, which I know all the real Euro nymph fans like. But this is a uh, this is a great rod for Euro nymphing um, on the Madison. The 10 and a half feet gives you a lot of reach, a lot of ability to control your line and control your drift. Uh, it's not the greatest to cast this Euro Nymph line. If you're familiar with those, it's a very uh, flat, thin diameter line, a lot like a running line. So it doesn't cast uh, like you're used to with your traditional fly lines. Um, but the best thing about this rod is fighting fish. It is super sensitive, and the long 10 and a half foot length just makes it really fun to fight a big fish. So let's go see if we can catch one. So one of the things I found about Euro nymphing is that it really uh, is important to find the right kind of water, the right kind of spots. Most of the casts are going to be at the same distance every time, your drifts, 20 to 25 feet. So finding a good spot that, you know, is that distance, has the right distance and the right angle is part of the key. So right here we've got a nice sort of deep slow trench behind this little set of uh, boulders. Um, good distance, good upstream angle cast. So I'm going to give it a try there. Oh! It's a rock, but uh, good B-roll. Oh, same rock. Uh, that last one was a stick. This is not cool. It's hung up on the bottom. It doesn't happen that often in Euro nymphing, amazingly enough. So yeah, walked in here, two casts, lost everything. The beauty of the jig flies though is they don't actually hang up on the bottom that often or easily. Uh, that's actually the first time in a long time I've lost my whole rig. But that's part of fishing, so we'll re-rig it. I like the little bit larger tippet ring. Gives your gives your rig a little more weight. Running it to uh, 4x Floroflex Plus, and then doing a double surgeons to 5x fluorocarbon. Casting like 25 feet upstream at a 45 degree angle. Just 
lift up on the tip till I can see the cider tippet. Let that cider tippet just ease its way downstream. The flies are tapping bottom occasionally. There we go. There we go. I almost always get these fish on the reel with the Euro nymph rod. Normally I don't do that with my traditional nymphing, but oh, that's a nice rainbow. This is the biggest fish I've caught on a Euro nymph rig in the matter. Well, actually, I've hooked, I haven't caught anything yet. <laughs> This beautiful fish. Holy cow. That's a Madison River rainbow trout right there. So, uh, that worked out pretty well. That's how you urine them. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Borden. Thanks for your help. Jake Copper John. Got lucky landing that guy. Yeah. That's what I call the true colors of the Madison right there. <laughs> that was a beautiful uh, trout for this river, a pretty big one. Definitely the biggest one I've caught on my Euro Nymph rig to date. Uh, you can see how it was really bending that uh, 10 and a half foot three weight over. But even on 5X tippet, I never felt like, uh, you know, I was putting too much heat on him. Uh, although I'm not sure I could have landed him without boarding here and running the net. <laughs> Thank you. We're super excited about learning more about Euro Nymphing and doing more of it here at home on the Madison. We'd love to help you. So check us out online at MRFC.com. Shoot us an email or give us a call. We'd be happy to help. <laughs>